Imagine looking different from almost everybody else, and then imagine being teased, insulted, and bullied for it. How would that make you feel? When I was a boy, I was called Ginger, Ginga, and even Duracell in reference to a battery's rusty top. There's not an awful lot you can do about having red hair as a child. It's part of our inevitable genetic makeup, and therefore being attacked for it feels a little bit like being rejected for who we are. At university, I dyed mine peroxide, and then for years as a TV presenter, I even shaved my head. It's only been recently that I've had the confidence to reveal my red roots, and now I feel empowered as an outed ginger man. There does seem to have been a shift in attitude towards the ginger gene. There's even been speculation that Damien Lewis could one day become the first ginger Bond. And that really would be fantastic news for all us red-headed men, because we probably had it a little bit tougher than ginger women. But whether or not you find us redheads attractive, the nastiness has absolutely got to stop. Because bullying, and that after all is what we're talking about here, is not cool, is not clever, it's just cowardly.